This is a short video to demonstrate the use of cutting planes to assist in post-processing. A cutting plane is a tool within Thermal Desktop that creates a visualization of the results in a plane through a finite difference or finite element solid in post-processing. You may be familiar with our beer can tutorial, in which layers are used to show the temperature distribution through the middle of the can. One goal of the beer can tutorial is to teach new users how to use layers, but I will show you how to use cutting planes to achieve a similar result. To create a cutting plane, select Thermal, Post Processing, Cutting Plane. The inputs are simply the origin, a point for the X size and direction, and a point to define the XY plane and the Y size. All cutting planes are rectangular. The cutting plane edit window will open. The first option is the characteristic length, which can be used to adjust resolution if necessary. The second option is the domain tag set. If this is left blank, then the cutting plane will show results for all solids it intersects. If a solid domain is selected, it will show results only for that domain set. The last option is a checkbox for draw unmapped areas. If this box is checked, then the entire cutting plane rectangle will be shown. Their surface will appear gray where there are no temperatures. With the box unchecked, the gray will be removed. I am going to check this box for now, though initially the entire surface will be colored because the cutting plane was shaped to the solid. Now if I turn off the visibility of the solids, you can see the cutting plane. You can access and edit the cutting plane just like any other thermal object, and it is also available in the model browser. The cutting plane can be moved around after it is created. Commands such as move, scale, and rotate 3D work on the cutting plane. You can also use the grip points to manipulate the plane. Now you can see the gray outline of the cutting plane. I'll edit the cutting plane and uncheck the box Draw Unmapped Area. There's one grip point in particular of great note and that is Translate Color Contour Display. This allows you to move the visualization to a different location. If I translate the display and then turn back on the visibility of the solids, you can see the solid and the interior contours in the same view. If I move the cutting plane forward or back, you can see the contour display adjust for the new location of the cutting plane. That concludes this demonstration of cutting planes. Thank you for your time and I hope you can put cutting planes to good use.